Hello Gemini and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini. Some moon rising in Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Gemini. We've got home. Gemini is solid, stable, secure. Could be to do with a home or property as well. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Gemini for the week ahead? Message for Gemini. Oh, don't stop. Feeling of keep on going. Let's see what we have with that. I'm going to pull one more. Any other message for Gemini? So I've got recovery. And romance. <coughs> Could be about a relationship or something that affects a relationship with the romantic card. So let's see what we have for you. What do we have for our lovely Geminis for the week ahead? Angel Spirits Guides message for Gemini. Message for Gemini. Queen of Swords could be you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female, or the energy of the card. Somebody who's in truth, clear thinking, logical, well-reasoned, decisive. We have the Strength card. Ten of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Seven of Cups, we have the Five of Wands, the Hierophant, and we have the Seven of Wands. So let's pull a card for this Queen of Swords. What do we have for Gemini? Thank you for the week. The Seven of Cups. This is getting clarity on making some choice or decision, choosing which way you move forward or how you move forward. We have the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is a card of lack. I think that you're standing your ground here, Gemini. It looks like you're... It looks like you're exploring your options because there is lack. And it's having the strength and courage to explore your options because there's conflict in terms of money. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles can be about family money, can be inheritance, uh, but it can be in any area of life, really. The Ten of Pentacles can, it just feels like there's conflict about money, um, a battle, a conflict, a disagreement about money. It, could be, it feels like with others, another party or other people. And it's the strength and courage to look at your options, that whatever is, is being presented to you, there's not, it's not enough. And you're seeing the truth of what needs to be done here and maybe making some kind of plan in terms of how you need to explore your options here. Could be official options. Because it's almost like you're not 
the Ten of Pentacles is that sense of long-term stability and security. It could also be with a family home. Um, and, you know, Pentacles can be property. It can be the tangible world, you know. So it can be assets, property, money, finances of some kind. But the message remains the same. You're, you're having the strength to explore your options because you're not finding resolution the way that the way things are going right now. And I, I see that it, it feels you, you are absolutely taking a stand, standing your ground and not backing down in terms of wanting to get in a fairer offer. Now, spirit is really kind of like working through the situation to bring you what you need as well. So it might well be that you're making some kind of clear plan this week and whoever you're, you might be getting some advice or getting in touch with, maybe official or professional, you know, personal people here. Uh, but it looks like spirit is going to bring in, it looks like an increase. Because it's about taking a stance and not stopping on that, not not settling for less than you deserve will be the energy here. And, and being very clear in terms of exploring your options is what I'm seeing here. Standing your ground and not backing down. And having faith that that's going to give you a fair offer. But you could be doing that through official channels if you can't get it res resolved between the two of you or two parties, or could be a number of people on this, you know. Because the... There could be a bit of a, a breadcrumb. Uh, there's just a feeling of a... Uh, there's a... Uh, feels like a lot of, of money or material... Money at stake here. And I think that you're exploring your options because you're in conflict with another party because you're not getting that. You're not getting what you consider as something fair. And I think here, Gemini, you're taking a stance that whatever you're being offered is not enough and having faith in how you're approaching this and how you're moving forward in looking at your options. This, I, this is, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm taking a stance here. Three of Swords, yeah, disappointment, heartbreak, oh, yeah. Three of Swords, uh, heartbreak, painful truth, third party situation, breakup. Uh, some, an experience that has caused you emotional pain. The Five of Wands, conflict, drama. Um, not seeing eye to eye, going round and round in circles. But even though everybody wants to win in this energy, this is, I am absolutely not backing down. You've been, I think, because you've been hurt or let down or um, you might feel that how you, the experience that you've gone through hasn't been fair. Oh, wow, justice. Yeah, I mean, this could be uh, through official channels or move, looking at exploring um, official channels. You know, justice is all about uh, consequences as well, you know. Uh, our actions have consequences and it looks like um, you could even be exploring official channels because you're not getting what you need or what you deserve out of this. Now this is either affecting a romantic relationship or, or, it's, or it's, it's about a romantic relationship or it could well be, you know, something that's affecting that. Um, but either way, I feel that you're being told... Um, there is a way forward here, don't stop uh, the sense of recovery, a way forward, but you just need to, it feels like you're taking a stance and standing firm. Yeah, and having faith, well, justice in the hierophant is a good sign, having faith, spirit bringing, okay, until you get the offer, I get it. So the offer is gonna come in. You know, this is either saying to the other party or people, either you do the right thing, or I'm going to explore my options and take this in a more an official, you know, uh, explore official channels. So, and it, sometimes that can bring people to the table in terms of uh, 
making them think twice in terms of whether they keep on, you know, uh, not being open to negotiate in some way or come to some kind of fair way forward here. But should that not be the case, then you explore official channels. I mean, this is the energy at play, but there is that sense here of, of ultimately with justice, we want that sense of balance in all things. You know, we want that sense of fairness, uh, doing what's right, what's honourable, what's fair, you know. And it looks like if you're you're not going to get it in this scenario with these other people who are, you know, hell-bent on keep on going round and round in circles, then you're going to take a stance and likely explore, you know, your options in terms of how you do get something sorted out. And sometimes when we have that conversation, it makes people think twice, and that might well be just the thing that's needed to sort this out. For others of you, it might well be you go through official channels and you will get what you deserve. But either way, uh, you are going to get what you deserve. You know, um, it's probably not all going to happen in a week. But ultimately, there is some kind of abundant offer on the table because it's karmic, you know. Um, actions have consequences. And certainly, whatever this conflict is about, I think it's because that there is there is money at stake here. I mean, this would be even like a, a settlement, you know, if you were expecting some kind of payout or a settlement in some way. The same energy would apply, um, so, I mean, that's what I have for you, Gemini. Stand your ground, be very firm, and explore your options, and even have the strength to say to the other party, listen, if you're not going to be open to listening to me and talking this through and coming to a sensible compromise and agreed way forward, then I'm going to explore my options and see how I do get it resolved, because I believe the truth is on my side. This is the energy here with the Queen of Swords. You know the truth is on your side. You know, Queen of Swords, you can't pull the wool over the Queen of Swords' eyes, you know. You just don't do it. Um, male or female? Okay, what do we have for Gemini as a final message? Oh, nice. Hello from heaven. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you, to prove they're with you at this time. Gemini, that's what I have for you for the week. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.